Hi everybody, John D from John D TV. Uh, today is day 26 of our house follow, and we have the rough mechanicals basically wrapped up. Our HVAC technicians are here today just doing some final work before we get the home inspected. Uh, we're going to have framing inspection tomorrow morning and also mechanical rough and inspection, and then we're going to have the insulation put in. So I wanted to take you around to show you a couple different points throughout the house with the mechanical. So if you're building your new home and you see some things that you might be confused by, at least you'll be educated on what those are. So let's go take a look. All right, we're here in the laundry room and a couple things I wanted to show you. One is your dryer box, your dryer vent box down here. So you can see this box on the wall. When you have your dryer in place, you'll be able to hook your hose right on here. And then this is vented to the outside. Now, some people get concerned about this pipe here. It can be made oblong to go into this box, so when you have your flexible dryer vent, you can just squeeze that vent and put it on. Uh, some people notice that it's not perfectly round and they get nervous. You can slip it right on there, tape it on, it makes it really easy to get your stuff vented out of there. Also, you have your supplies for your hot and cold for your washing machine, and also your discharge for your washing machine. Now when you follow these pipes down, you can notice that there's a metal plate on the floor. That plate's put there, and you'll see actually there's multiple plates within this wall. Whenever you have wires, pipes, anything like that, that can't be put far enough away from one side or the other of the, the wall framing, and there could be a concern for a drywall screw going through, they put a plate on there to protect those items. So a drywall screw can never penetrate that plate. And we have it, you can see we have some here along these pipes here. Our wires luckily are right in the center of this two by six, so we don't have any concern for that. We're in the kitchen area here, and I just wanted to show you some of the plumbing pipes running up through. Uh, it's kind of like a little chase area here. This piping, this red and blue piping, is part of our uh, mana block system that we offer as an upgrade in some communities, and it's actually standard in some of our other communities like Quaker Hill, where we are right now. But one of the positive uh, aspects of this system is it's a continuous run from a manifold in the basement where all the water comes in um, it's like a circuit breaker box for electric and each pipe comes out there and it's a continuous length to the fixture so we're going to go down in the basement shortly I'm going to show you how that operates you can shut off each pipe separately but I find it pretty interesting and it's really neat how they run it through here just like an electric wire they pull it through and run into all the locations here we are in the basement. Here's the manifold part of the plumbing system that I mentioned upstairs. And some of the interesting features, like I talked about, are that you can shut off each line separately, which is really handy if you have an issue, something's not operating properly. You can come downstairs, they provide you with a little key, and you can shut off each valve separately. So it's a nice package to upgrade to, and um, I think it looks pretty cool too. That's one of the, my favorite things about it. So I wanted to show you this and you can see it's quite the network of piping that comes up through here and runs all the way through the basement and then upstairs. Thanks for joining us today. I hope I taught you a couple different things about what the rough mechanical stage looks like. Sorry if it was a little bit loud. We also had our siding guys are working here today so there was a lot of banging. I hope you could hear me okay. We'll take a look at that siding when we come back in a few days. Um, the next step right now is insulation bats. Um, it really makes the house kind of take shape and it's easier to see what things look like instead of all those framing members. So I'm excited to show you that next stage in a few days. Thanks for joining us today and I hope you have a great day.